we are self-appointed dinner party experts because we've been throwing them for six years now together. We're self-taught cooks. We've made every possible mistake you can make. We're still friends. We live to tell about it. We got a book deal. That's why we're experts. <laughs> I'm Tamara Reltz. I'm Zora O'Neill. And we wrote a book. It's called Forking Fantastic. Put the party back in dinner party. Because we want you to have dinner parties, yo. There are very few things that you can do to ruin your good time when you're having your friends over for dinner. The things that you think are faux pas are merely glitches. Sometimes they're things that actually make your party better. Your stuff does not have to match. You need to save the money with the matchy-matchy crap and spend all of your money on food and booze. You don't even need perfect glassware. Whatever glasses you have. If you don't have enough chairs, ask your guests to bring chairs. They'll think it's fun. They'll feel involved. It's like potluck, but for your ass. <laughs> you do not need a big centerpiece because it will keep your guests from seeing each other. Don't feel like you have to control the conversation or that there are things you shouldn't talk about. There should be no barriers to conversation. Politics, religion, feel free to overshare. Your recent terrible date in graphic detail. The last proctologist exam that you had or maybe the camera up your, what do they call this? Don't serve your guests a mountain of food. Let people serve themselves and choose how much they want to eat. The most important thing Make sure you have enough toilet paper. It's just dinner. So you don't want to get so stressed out that you drink so much that you fall down on the floor and pass out. We, we recommend drinking. We encourage drinking. Yes, but if you're going to do that, it should be for fun, not for stress. Yeah. You got to eat. You might as well eat with friends. What got me down was the growing frown, the collective noun.